Hey everybody, Jimmy here. So if you're like me, you are really excited to sign up for Interactive Brokers and to get started scalping and day trading with lightning fast execution. And then you went to set things up and you got super intimidated by all of the settings, all of the presets, everything going on within the platform. And one of those things in particular that can be daunting is just setting up a bracket order. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to simply set up a bracket order. That way you can be confident every time you pull the trigger that the order you want executed will in fact be the order that gets executed. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna go even deeper and I'm gonna show you how to go into your presets and set up default values for your bracket orders so that if you're a trader who trades 200 shares all the time or 500 shares all the time and you wanna set that as a default, I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you always use a set stop loss, say a dollar, I'm gonna show you how to set that default up as well so that when you do pull that trigger on the bracket order, it goes off with all your defaults just the way you want every time so that nothing goes wrong. With that, let's jump into the trading platform. All right, let's dive into this. So I've got my interactive brokers platform up right now, and I'm just gonna dive right into this. We won't mess around with anything. I just wanna show you how to put on this bracket order. And if you have any questions throughout this entire video, just drop them in the comment section below, and I will definitely get back to you. So we're gonna look at AMD right now. And I just have a 15 minute chart up. That doesn't really matter. I just got that set up. I've got uh, a buy selected here. But basically, to get this order entry window, you just wanna come on up to new window and you're just gonna pick this order entry. And that will give you this little box here. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'll post it up here. But the previous video will just show you my whole setup. So you'll know how I get the chart here. You'll see how I get the order entry window up. And you'll also see how I get this sort of uh, trade review or status window. But for today, just bracket order. So what we're gonna do is we've got the buy selected. And let's say I wanna make a stop limit order. And I'm gonna set that up here. I'm gonna do 200 shares. And I'm just gonna make my stop maybe $80.20. That way it's just simple. And I'll make my limit on this 25, 80, 25. So that's all set up. Now, here's the magic for setting up the bracket order. Do you see this plus sign right here? You're just gonna click that plus and you're gonna get this window. And yours will probably look like this. It'll be closed up. All you're gonna do is you're gonna click this first plus that says attach stop loss profit taker slash bracket. The minute you click that, you're gonna see this bracket checkbox. You're gonna click that and that will activate your bracket. So now the bracket is active and now you can do with it what you want. So if you wanna put a profit taker, which is a profit, say you wanna take profit in 2R or if you get a $1 move, you wanna take profit you'll use the profit taker. If you don't want it and you just want to stop loss, you can just go stop loss like this. But we're gonna do the full bracket. So I've got that turned on. And let's say I wanna take profit at $81. I can scroll on down here and I can just select $81. And let's say for our stop loss, I wanna stop myself out if it goes below, let's say $80 even. So I'll come down here and I'll just select $80 even. So what you can see what we have right now is we have a place where we're going to take profit at $81 and we have a stop loss at $80. So once we're done with that, we can click this X and that'll close that up. You open it back up, your order will still be there. Okay. You've got that turned on. You're ready to go. X that out. You've got your order. Now you don't have to use a stop limit. You could put in any type of trade that you want to put in, any type of order type, market, whatever you want to use. But I'm just using this for the example. So now that I have this bracket attached, here's what happens when I click submit. Now the market's closed, it's obviously Sunday, so you're not gonna see any live action. But when I click submit, you're gonna see that this pops up and it puts my order in here, it puts my profit taker up here, and it puts my stop loss down here. Everything is on right now ready to go now if you want you can move things around i can move this take profit down by dragging it and it'll just go ahead and move it down it maintains the same entry the same stop but now my profit taker is at eighty dollars and 36 cents so you can move that all around 
You can even come in here and you can move your stop loss around. I can say, oh, I, I want my stop loss to be at $80.05 and it will go ahead and be active there. So once the bracket's on the screen, it's very easy to manipulate by grabbing and dragging and dropping. If you don't want to drag and drop and you want to instead just enter new values, you can do this as well. $80.36 is the, is the target. Let's come up here and you see this limit target right here where it says profit taker. If I come into the price area, I can click in that and I can actually move that up to wherever I want. So let's go 8050. I click that. Now the only difference between dragging and dropping and changing right here in the order entry window is that you need to go ahead and click the update button. So if I click the update button, now it changes it. You can see we're at 8050. So anytime you make a change here, you gotta hit update. And I'll tell you an important reason why I know this. I moved my stop loss one time to break even. And I, by entering a new stop loss, and I forgot to hit confirm. So I did this. I went to, I said, okay, 8010. And then I left it. And I saw it as 8010. And I thought it was active, and it wasn't. And there's two ways you can tell it's not active. This says update and this little T right here. So if you click either of those, it will update it for you. So make sure you confirm that so that you don't get stuck with an inactive stop order that you think is at break even, but in fact it's not. So that's the simplicity behind the bracket order. It's a very simple thing to do, and the only thing you have to do is use this advanced button with the plus. Once you click that, you're gonna see where to put the bracket order on. And if you don't want the bracket order on anymore, you can either click this cancel button for the order or come up to the primary order here and click cancel here and you'll see it cancel. So now it's gone. So you can see that we're clear, everything's good, everything's dark out and then it disappears. To review real quick, simply, this is the simplest way to put on the bracket order, is just select your order type, your shares, click advanced, highlight bracket, and then set up your profit and your stop loss. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So now that you've stayed this long in the video, hang tight because now I'm going to dive even deeper into the platform. We're going to go into the global settings for this and I'm going to show you how to set up default settings for this type of thing. So let's say for example, you want to use a bracket order that has a 25 cent stop loss all the time. So you don't want to have to open this and select 25 cents and, and figure it out. You just want to say wherever I place my order, I want the system to calculate a stop loss and place it at 25 cents or a dollar or wherever. Now, you can also do this with the profit taker. So let's go ahead, let's show you how to put profit taker and stop loss defaults into this system. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here to file. And under file, you're gonna see global configurations. Click global configurations, and that's gonna launch this big window. And I recommend just sort of making it a little larger so you can see all of the options. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna come over to presets. You're gonna click presets and you're gonna see a list. And this, you can apply presets and presets just is a fancy word for defaults. You can set up your presets for any type of trade. If you trade futures, if you trade warrants, options, whatever, you can set them up here. But we're gonna stick with stocks and that's the very first selection. So I'll click stocks and under stocks, I'm gonna close these up to make it really simple, but you can toggle these open and closed. And I just wanna show you, I wish that IBKR would default and have these closed because it makes it very clean. So if you close those all up, it's a great place to start because now you can see your primary order, you can see your target order, and you can see your attached stop order. And that's really important. So let's start with the attached stop order. I'm gonna open that up. And in here, you're basically just gonna see a place to set up the default values. So if your stop loss, if you wanna set that up as a stop limit, trailing stop, any kind of stop, you can pick the type here. If you wanna just go with a regular stop loss, you can just pick stop. From there, you can pick your stop price. And this is where things can get a little bit tricky. You wanna come under stop price and you wanna select your parent order because when you place the order, you want it to calculate your stop loss off of that order that you placed. That's called the parent order. That's something I didn't know or understand, 
until I spoke with customer service and they explained that to me. So if you put the parent order in that box, so once you come into stop price and you pick the parent order right here, it opens up and highlights this new box. This is just the offset to the parent order. So you're gonna click that. And what that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow the system to calculate your stop loss based off of where you place the order. So if you place the order at $80 and you want a 50 cent stop loss, then that 80 order is going to be calculated as 79.50 as your stop loss. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna change this to 0 0.50. That would give you a 50 cent stop loss. Now, once you set all these things up, I recommend going into your paper trading account and placing them or going in after hours when the markets are closed and just placing them up on your screen to see if it's calculating it correctly. It should, but things can always come up and go a little funny, so I recommend just trying it out. So that's for the stop loss. You're just gonna say, stop, parent order, 50 cents, apply offset to parent, and the parent is just where you're placing your order. And that's all you have to do in here. That's the stop loss. That's how easy that is, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that, and we're gonna go to the target order. This is your profit taker, where you wanna take partial profits. And what you can do here is you can pick which type of order you want to place. I always recommend going with a limit order because that way it gets executed at a price you can specify. And what you can say in here is you can go parent for the limit price because what you want to do is base your profit off of where you enter your trade. So your trade is entered at $80 and you want to take profit at $82. Then you want to change this to $2 and you want to click this to apply offset to the parent because the parent is where you enter. That is how simple this is. Now, for those of you who don't trade stocks or get into other things and you're curious to know like, well, what if I want to calculate it in ticks? Well, you can click this and you can do ticks, percentage, or amount. Just know for all of you stock traders out there, just know that amount means cents and dollars, okay? So amount's what you're gonna wanna use. Here's your take profit amount and you're applying the offset to the parent. If you don't click this, then this isn't gonna work. Okay, you gotta make sure you apply the offset to the parent, have parent order selected, and then select your order type. And you should be all good to go for target and stop loss orders. So that's as simple as it gets. You can place your target order and your stop loss order defaults, and that way they're the same every single time that you go ahead and enter a bracket order. And if you don't want defaults and you wanna set them up each time, feel free to just come over here Use your order entry window and just click this plus by advanced and select bracket order. And that will give you your profit taker and your stop loss. I hope this video was helpful. Drop me a comment. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you stick around. And if you got any value out of this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.